Ye folk of this nation, and hear my oration. Come listen with patience, and I won't keep you long. There is no false pretension in what I hear mention. It is now my intention for to sing you a song. I belong to a village where both men have knowledge of rowing and sailing, experience and skill. We all took our places as yearly the case is to witness the races this day at Moville. My notion was bent, so to Blackburn's I went for to gain his consent for to sail or log file. My friends and their neighbors hadn't ceased from their labors to obtain the day's pleasure forsaking their toil. My petition he granted, I got what I wanted. He freely consented and said nothing ill. He says, get you ready and keep yourself steady. Beware of your conduct to stay at Moville. I profess not to show it, for indeed I don't know it, to tell you in plain how the race it was run. Suffice it to say, about twelve in the day, the boats went away like the shunt of a gun. Some cheering for Blackburn and others for Allen, some for McCormick with cheers loud and shrill. And then as in thunder my heart leapt like wonder when I first met Mary, the star of Moville. My senses were frisky by the means of some whiskey. Says I, my wee lassie, how sweetly you sing. Some swaggering and roistering while others kept cursing. Sly Cubit kept whispering, slip round her your wing. Says I, ma'am, excuse me, but do not refuse me. A wee drop of whiskey your sorrow will kill. She freely consented, and I was contented that I had gained Mary, the star of Moville. So now to conclude and to finish these verses, I hope no offence I have given unto none. But I wish I could fly, or the ground would rise high, or the wanters might dry, I might reach an nation. I'll promise you here if you're over next year, at Eliza's or Jacob's your glasses I'll fill, and like a canary I'll sing loud and cheery, and sound out the praises of the star of Moville.